an extra little bit of a briefing for those three drivers. There they are. Ronnie Carter on the left, Grayson Wortley in the middle, Josh Cook on the right. A shake of hands between the three drivers. Good sportsmanship shown there. And they're just being reminded that they have their duties as drivers to make sure that whatever happens in the next 10 minutes, that it's fair and above board. I'm sure it will be. Ready to go then for the last race, the championship decider for the Iami Bambino title in Super 1 for 2022. Away we go for nine minutes plus one lap. Who's going to get the run into turn one? It's going to be Wortley. Wortley will lead from Carter. Cook in third. Roots there in fourth. Perfect start for the pole sitter. But there's a long, long way in this race to go. They'll stream down towards the first hairpin. Seen so much overtaking in this category so far today. In a way, as long as the three drivers keep themselves up towards the front of the field, the first, I'd say, eight minutes of this race almost don't matter. But Wortley leads in the early stages. Carter second, Cook third. If it was a finish in that order, uh, that would be championship order. That is how close it is here. We finish with Wortley on 1226, Carter on 1224, Cook on 1222. End of lap number one then, Wortley from Carter and Cook. I do wonder if the trio just try and push out from the rest of the field and then sort it out amongst each other uh, later on. I don't think James Roots is going to be allowing them to do that though. He's been strong today. There in fourth. Fraser Anderson as well having a good start once again. Scottish driver there in fifth place. Eli Lizieki, number 99. Been in good form so far this weekend. Is sitting in sixth place at the moment in this race. Harris Barber's had an unfortunate start. Dropped four places uh, on lap one. Has been overtaken by Logan Jones, Ethan Coupland. Uh, Arthur Farrow and Logan Rolf. Nice and calm though at the early throws of this one. We've already seen quite a bit of overtaking in the heats at this point. But end of lap two. Wortley from Carter. Cook. Roots. And Anderson. Those five running away. Just to remind, if, if the likes of James Roots or Fraser Anderson push through and into the, the lead... Get in amongst these top three. Doesn't matter in terms of championship. It's not one of those where the win being for a few extra points changes things. It literally is a three-way between Wortley, Carter and Cook. Whichever one of them finishes further, but the order is champion in this race. I just saw a good scrap going on there involving Dean Sinkahal and Daniel Ferguson. James Roots looking for a route down the inside. The other drivers have been, I imagine, been told the situation, been made aware of these three drivers are all fighting for the championship. I just wonder almost in a way of like, let them do what they need to do. Um, race them clean, because what we wouldn't want to see is uh, one of those three drivers lose their shot. Uh, involved in an incident with another driver with nothing to lose. Not that I think that that's going to happen. I'm sure that that's what all the drivers have been made aware of. And this five working together nicely. Still just keeping it calm. Putting the sectors in. The pace is really good, I've got to say. All of them in the 54 sevens last time around. At the front of the field. Five and a half minutes to go in this one. So we've still got a majority of time that they would have in a heat remaining here at Shennington for the Bambino I Army final. James Roots is now the fastest driver. First to dip into the 54 sixes. But again, the characteristic of this circuit, if you're in the position of James Roots, you don't necessarily want to blast through and take the lead uh, of the race at, at this stage because you're not going to be able to break away. You're not going to be able to win it on your own. Those around you are going to pull that gap back in or just sit in your slipstream. Exactly what Ronnie Carter's doing at the moment. I, I've got to say, 
This is a very mature drive from Ronnie Carter, and we've seen Ronnie Carter be able to make the overtakes. He had to fight for it in the heats. He was the one with a, a slight deficit in the points. He's pulled his, his way back into this with some of the results that he's had. And those overtakes that we saw from Ronnie Carter, he could pull them out again in the latter stages to make all the difference. Four minutes to go. Still Wortley from Carter, from Cook. One, two, three. Harris Barber has got past Logan Rolf for 11th place further back in the order. Fraser Anderson, unfortunately, is just dropping off the back. James Roots nearly had a go there at Josh Cook. I think that was the slightest of mistakes from Josh Cook. Is this the first big moment in this race? Because there's a gap now between Ronnie Carter and Josh Cook. Josh Cook has got to find that rear bumper. He's, I think he's got to defend. He's got to defend here and be brave on the brakes to close up to Ronnie Carter once again. He's nearly doing so. This is digging deep from Josh Cook. Championship leader at the start of the day. Three and a half minutes to go. But are we about to lose? one of our championship contenders. Wortley and Carter will know the situation now as well. They'll see that gap. They'll go, right, we've got to work together now. We've got to be friends for the next few laps to drop Josh Cook. Because if we drop Josh Cook, it's now a two-driver battle. But the thing is, they are not doing so. They're not doing so. James Roots is pushing Josh Cook along. Because, of course, James Roots wants the round win. He doesn't care about the championship. Wants to get through cleanly, of course. But it's in his own self-interest to push Josh Cook along and back into that front group to make it a group of four. Grayson Wardley has been in this position before, of course. He's won big races here at Shannington in the past in Super 1. What must be going through his mind at the moment? Two and a half minutes on the clock to go. And this great work from James Cook, he has, I'd say, closed back in and made it a group of four again. James Roots has helped as well. Recognised the situation. Not wanted to get too eager. See, he will know. Would you be surprised if the top three all have a bit of a moment and open up the door for James Roots to take the final win? This kind of season finale, I don't think you could be surprised by anything. That's why this race has been so anticipated across the course of the weekend. It was just something telling us all in the paddock in our minds that this is how it would end. Effectively a one-off race, almost like a GP race to decide who's going to be champion in 2022. Another minute ticks by and still Grayson Wortley leads this race. Ronnie Carter has not made the move yet. I fully understand why. could argue that Ronnie Carter is in the prime position at the moment. So at the moment he is one race move away from being champion. Grayson Wortley has a little gesture there. Says to Ronnie Carter, let's keep thinking about this. Let's keep it calm. Harris Barber has got through past Logan Jones. He's got 10th place now. So there'll be two more laps to decide. 2022 Super 1 Miami Bambino Championship. We've still got three drivers with a chance of winning this championship and they're all at the front of the field. Wortley from Carter from Cook. It's been that way since the start of the race. Carter's pushing again. Big effort now from Ronnie Carter. They're trying to drop Josh Cook. They've almost dropped James Roots. James Roots has been fantastic today, but I don't think he's quite got enough speed. Carter's looking for the inside. This is the moment. Down the inside. Takes the lead of the race. Ronnie Carter chooses 20 seconds to go to make the move to take the lead of the race. He is now in championship winning position. Five seconds on the clock. That will run out. There's going to be one more lap to decide, and then it's still... The top three being covered by less than half a second. Cook's looking down the inside of Wardley, going for second place. Can he get it on the run? Wardley's going to hold on the outside. No change in position. This is it. The last lap of the championship. Ronnie Carter leads it. Grayson Wardley there in second place.
Big run now, down towards the Stratford corner. This is one of the places where Ronnie Carter has been strong, but he hasn't got the benefit of a toe this time. Wortley pulls out of the toe. He's got to be brave on the brakes if he's got to go for the move. He is going to go for the move. Josh Cook, Cook is down the inside as well. And through goes Grayson Wortley. Grayson Wortley takes the lead of the race. Cook is still there in second. Carter still there in third. They slightly bang wheels. Carter around the outside takes second place. One more opportunity. You've got to think James Roots is still in there as well for the race win. Grayson Wortley, he's got to defend down the inside into Wilkins. He's done just that. He's got to get off the corner. Oh, they're going to be three wide coming off the corner. Ronnie Carter's gone around the outside. Ronnie Carter becomes champion in the 2022 Super 1 Ayami Bambino Championship with a last corner overtake have you ever seen a championship decided like that ronnie carter the driver who last well 24 hours ago was looking off the pace has taken the win and taken the championship in the most dramatic fashion Oh my goodness me, in all my years of commentating on Super 1, I have never seen a finish like that. Carter from Cook from Wortley, 1-2-3 in the race, 1-2-3 in the championship. And I'm just going to look at it, it was the curb, oh it was the curb, Grayson Wortley just got it on the curb there. He didn't need to, that compromised his exit and Carter wins it on the line. My goodness me. Well, well done to Ronnie Carter. He is 2022 Super 1 Ayami Bambino champion. Josh Cook finishes second. Grayson Wortley third. James Roots fourth. Fraser Anderson in fifth. Eli Lizieki, Dean Singh Bahal, Daniel Ferguson, Logan Jones and Harris Barber complete the top ten. Sadly, we are going to have to move on from the Ayami Bambinos. But what a category they have been this year. Next out on circuit for their final 